statement, the Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With permission, I would like to make a statement on the hostage crisis in Algeria and the tragic events of the last three days. We and other countries affected should be consulted before any action was taken. Mr. Speaker, we were not informed of this in advance. I was told by the Algerian Prime Minister while it was taking place. He said that the terrorists had tried to flee, that they judged there to be an immediate threat to the lives of the hostages and had felt obliged to respond. When I spoke to the Algerian Prime Minister later last night, he told me that this first operation was complete, but this is a large and complex site, and they are still pursuing terrorists and possibly some of the hostages in other areas of the site. The Algerian Prime Minister has just told me this morning they are now looking at all possible routes to resolve this crisis, and I urge that we and other countries affected should be consulted before any action was taken. Mr. Speaker, we need to be absolutely clear whose fault this is. It is the terrorists who are responsible for this attack for the loss of life. The action of these extremists can never be justified. We will be resolute in our determination to fight terrorism and to stand with the Algerian government, who have paid a heavy price over many years fighting against a savage terrorist campaign. Okay. The Chief of Defence Staff shortly before Christmas proposed that one of the new